Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume Dot. Tom. <laughs> This man has the difficult task of bringing a beloved character from Avatar the Airbender to life on Netflix. Lin mm -hmm. Su, how are you today? I'm very well. Thank you, RC. It's lovely to be here. Listen, the In pleasure LA, is from mine. Singapore, and talking to you. Listen, the pleasure is mine. Uh, you know, I finally got to watch the original animated series. Everyone talked it up forever. And I said, listen, you guys talked it up way too much. I can't watch this now, so I waited, and then the pandemic hit, and when that happened, I was like, look, I have the time, I'm going to watch all of Avatar The Last Airbender, and I think it took me maybe a week cool. to, watch, to yeah. watch the animated series, and here we are talking to you about the live series, and your yeah. story is more interesting than the animated one, in going <laughs> from Singapore to boarding school to the UK, to now being in the United States playing a beloved I character. Know. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like a fairy tale in many ways. It's like a fairy tale. And it's come at a time when I wasn't looking for, I wasn't that ambitious suddenly, not like when I was young. And it's, it's an, for me because at a time when I'm not looking for it, I'm not so desperate and I'm actually in a better state for these things to happen, which is so surprising for me. I thought it was all about hard work and, and, and living up to it, but relaxation really helped a lot so it, it really I'm very does. grateful <laughs> and you get to play Gaiatsu who yeah. is you know Aang's mentor before the war even begins yeah. yes do you know that um when I auditioned I didn't even realize it was for this because there was a lot of hush hush about it as you know and so in, in the audition sheet it was like a Mr. Miyagi type character that I so I, I followed the instruction and tried to play the kind of tough love guy, right? And uh, I, I sent in my tape and the second audition via Zoom, I was reading with Gordon and my wife, Detective Sri Lin, who you met, looked up Gordon while I was uh, auditioning and found, oh my goodness, this Avatar the last airbender because it announced that he had gotten the role. So then we realized who I was going up for. And as it happened, I was we were both introduced to Avatar the last airbender by a cool friend from New Zealand, years and years ago, who said, watch this show, it's really cool. And we watched it, and we both fell in love with it. And especially, I fell in love with the Monk Gyatso character. I had been doing my research. I, I had got a spiritual search going on, brought up in Christian schools, became very interested at that time of my life in the Dalai Lama in his form of Tibetan Buddhism. And his name is Gyatso. Here's what I found. <laughs> oh, my watch is talking to me, sorry. <laughs> Your watch is doing the Google search for My you. My watch right? talks to me and I don't understand it. Don't go so close, yeah. my dear. So Mang <laughs> is the character that I fell in love with because he was related to the Dalai Lama mm. and his his teachings of you know, which I was really falling for. And now suddenly I'm playing this character called Gyatso who has this kind of childlike humor, childlike innocence, a tremendous wisdom and power as well. And uh, I wasn't daunted because I was in love with the character, I think. And that was, that was a blessing for me. Otherwise, I would have been very daunted, you know. Right. And uh, when we were filming, my goodness, they, they, Albert Kim, especially the, the showrunner, and Michael Goy, who directed the first episode, encouraged me to go for the love rather than the cutesiness. He said, you've got that childlike innocence anyway. They allowed me one or two gags and then stopped me from doing too many gags and told me to focus in on the love for Gordon, for Aang. And you know, it was so easy. It was so easy because Gordon is incredible. He's an incredible actor. He's, he was so young, he was 11 when I met him. And uh, he's so talented, so gifted, and so kind and generous at the same time, you know? I mean, I was thinking to myself on set, my goodness, he's just like Aang. He was showing me where to find tea and coffee and snacks when I joined the set. And his father was helping me too. So I fell in love with them. I fell in love with the two Gordons, and especially Gordon Jr. It was incredible. I mean, he paved the way for such such pleasure in the playing the part. I have well, listen, say. we're from we're from uh, continental Asia. So if we don't have our tea, the day is ruined. 
thank you for saying that. I love that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the people forget how like my family's from the Middle East, so we're on the west side of Asia. You know, Singapore yes. is on the east side over there, and yet tea yeah. is you know I think we drink more tea than we do water. I think we do. That's very well put. I never thought of that. We are all tea drinkers, aren't we? Yeah. It's all I tea and rice. Tea. That's it. Everything everything has yeah. to have tea and rice. The entire continent. That's why we're better. You know, when I used to travel with my mom. everybody else. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> sit back, sit back. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I can feel him crouching in closer and closer. <laughs> yes, I'm getting more and more engaged with you. And then, and then I'm trying to see should I, should I get rid of that light? Because he's got this halo over his head. This Listen, I got the I'm same excited. haircut. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean that light over his head. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Yes, it's shining bright on him. Favorite hairstyle. <laughs> you both got the best hairstyles to put. Are you? Are you? Are you in Airbender at heart? <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you in Airbender? I, RC? You know, we're aerodynamic. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's absolutely right. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. getting out the picture now. No, no, it's my, my wife, my, my crazy wife, Hello. who is my everything. Hello, yeah. everybody. Yeah. I'm Mrs. Biazzo. Yeah. <laughs> But here's the, the thing. That's why you're so life. good at taking direction. Sit up straight. Do this. Move Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Yes. Don't lean in so much. <laughs> you look like an angel from that angle. Yes, my love. <laughs> You'll be trapped in something. Yeah. I, I love the relationship you two have. So many people I know that are in relationships. You know, how's your wife? How's your husband? Eh, they're okay. And you can tell they're not that happy. But you guys look ecstatic. And I'm thrilled for that. Thank you so much for saying that. We've, we've, we've somehow managed to stay in love with each other. And that's an amazing feeling. We're both actors. It's called acting. <laughs> I was going to ask what and the secret crazy. was. But then it is. Then we found out. It's acting. <laughs> <laughs> Not that deep after all, huh? <laughs> you know, you know the, the one thing, your journey itself, going from Singapore to Malaysia to coming to the United States on top of it, you know, yeah. that's an that's an incredible feat to not only have to struggle and make it oh, as an I actor. See, the confusion. Oh, well, that's because that's what we were told is that, you know, you started over there and then. Yes, you know, and then we filmed Anna and the King in Malaysia. Yeah, yes. no, okay. so, so, that's where my confusion so actually, was. Malaysia, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So Malaysia and Singapore are one, what used to be one country. Yeah, we used to be the same country and yeah. then we split in 1965. Right. So Malaysia. Yeah. Thank you. But, That's where we filmed Anne and the King. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, my love. but to make it in your own home country first and then go, I'm going to immigrate to another country and start all over again. I know. And now in the same field where I don't have the recognition I do at home, you know, yes. people had to have thought you were nuts. I think so. A lot of people think, good luck. And they, they meant it, you know, like it's going to be daunting. And, but, you know, we're at the stage of my life of our lives, actually, where we have no parents, no pets, and no kids. And uh, we've had that journey, and we've said goodbye to our parents, and we try to carry their love inside of us. But now we're free to pursue what we want to pursue with some abandon, I may say. And therefore, we're not... I'm at the stage of my life where I'm not as ambitious as I was when I was young. And it seems the perfect time for this to happen, you know. If you understand what I mean, there's less pressure. I'm not trying too hard. And things are coming my way, I think, simply because of that. I'm more relaxed, I'm more giving, and I'm not so greedy. <laughs> it's a funny thing. It's a really strange thing. But as Gyatso says, time favorite. is a funny thing. Right? You know, because it what seems to be. It seems to be at the moment. Yeah. Well, what's the old saying? The, yeah, worst, so... the only thing worse than the spotlight fading is chasing after it? Exactly. That's really well put. I agree. I, that it's a terrible thing to chase after because one feels frustrated most of the time, you know. Whereas when things are happening, things seem to come by surprise. It's like a gift. It's such a different mentality, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's totally. A, in the state of gratitude, I I shine. All of us do, I think. In the state of gratitude, we all shine in some way, you know. Yeah, with, with Not with pride, though. Of course. <laughs> No, but you're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying life. You know, the, this series coming to exactly. Netflix um, is a big deal because people are always scared 
about the transition from the animated to the live action. And I always yes. tell everybody, you know, it's not the same medium. We have to treat it as a different property. You know, I think certain things didn't get a fair chance. Um, like yeah. Cowboy Bebop didn't get a fair chance because it's a different iteration and it's a different story, even though yeah. it's trying to stay true to the roots. How do you try to appease yeah. that fan base that's been so dedicated to a series for two decades? I know, and some of them are split over it. You know, I've watched all the comments on after what uh, the showrunner Albert Kim said about some of the differences that they might expect. Some people loved it. Some people were saying, okay, let's see. And some people just went, no, I don't accept that, which we will expect among the fan base, right? So some, it was so close to the heart of some people that they don't, they fear the change. It's so human, isn't it? it is. So, you know, yeah, all, all Albert says is, and I, I think I agree with him 100%, it's like, just hope you have a wonderful time. Please keep an open mind on things and then you might enjoy it more. You know, it's, it's a funny thing to say, because it seems accusatory, but I think just have an open mind is the best advice, actually, and enjoy it. Because he has stuck to it so closely. You know, Albert also has done some of the writing, and he wrote some of the episodes that I acted in, and he's very clear in what he wanted. He wanted more love, less cutesy. The humor is there anyway, is written in. And so I just went with the ride, you know, because it was a, a tremendous ride, as you say, coming to North America, America, and the opportunity to do something that I love. I was so lucky. And now I hope that I can I can um, do more work here that in in shows that, that where I love the character and I love the story. It's a good start anyway. <laughs> well, this is a great start. I mean, to start off with Avatar is incredible. But oh also God. with yeah. the cast that's in this, I mean, you didn't get to work with everybody because you're in a lot of the flashback scenes. And you're in a lot of the the precursor to Aang defrosting, and we're not giving any spoilers away because you know people have watched yeah. the, the animated series for twenty years. But Paul yep. Sun, Hyung Lee, Yvonne yeah. Chap uh, Chapman, Daniel oh. Day Kim, you know, yeah. just the list goes on and on of all these yeah. talented people in this series that you know were were rooting for it. Oh, totally, totally! It's so exciting, right? It's so exciting to have this cast. And this cast isn't just based on how famous they are, it's that how much do they resemble the characters, right? So it's brilliant, isn't it? I think it's a cool. And I hope the fans enjoy that already, you know? I think they are. They, they love the fact that there are huge Asian stars in this show. Most of the fans love that. So it's a good start. I think that the, as a, on a starting basis, they're already looking forward to watching it, you know? So it's the casting itself is, 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 is brilliant. Right, it's not Yul Brenner and the King and I if we're going to tie back uh, Anna and the King. But to be well fair, said. he was from Russia, so he's from the Asian part of, of that uh, of that nation. So, which is true, yes, you know, yes. We'll give it a little bit of, of uh, <laughs> approval for 1963. It's 1963. <laughs> yes. you know? It's like well done for the 60s. You know? right. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you know, the shows the shows becoming is going to become available on netflix everybody is you know either there's the trepidation or there's the excitement i've got yeah. to see a bit of a sneak preview from it ahead of time and it's absolutely what did you think it's yeah. gorgeous it's gorgeous to, oh. to to be able to translate the and i and again i have to treat it as a separate property it's not you know nickelodeon's the last airbender the animated one but the cg yes. that's involved in it and the storytelling oh. and the interactions you know, it humanizes the character a little more. Because remember, when it was for Nickelodeon, it was for a younger audience. And this yeah. one, yes, it's still for a younger audience, but now it's a little more mature because those six-year-olds are now 26 and they can Absolutely. appreciate it more from an adult aspect. Absolutely. That's so well put. That's so well put. Yes. Yes. I think they will enjoy it, you know, because they are 20-something. Some of the depth of the love for each other and the young characters learning in life I think they're going to love it, you know, because a lot of that hits a lot harder than the animation, in my opinion. So I hope they enjoy that. Yeah, that's really well put. Yeah. Is it interesting in being part of a generational franchise? Like, we'll take Star Trek and Star Wars, for example. How, mm. you know, 50, 60 plus years of those two franchises, and all of a sudden now grandchildren are watching the original Star Wars, or great-grandchildren are watching the original Star Trek, and yes. that continuous love for it. Yes. Here we are, Generation 3, now going to be able to watch. Because parents watch it with their children. 
And now the children are watching it with their children. So we're in the third generation of Avatar. What's that like to be a part of a three, you know, three generation series? Oh my goodness. Put like that, you know, it's an absolute honor. It's such an honor to be part of this. It's it's the continuity is incredible. You know, three generations and more to come. I think there's gonna be much more to come because of the way the love that's been put into this show, you know, the love from everybody, the crew, from the showrunner, especially from the directors. All the actors are caught into this, the famous ones and the new ones. Everybody's into it. I think the whole community is so excited by this that I think it's not just buzz. It goes much deeper than that. Um, let's hope that for generations to come, this will be a groundbreaker. I really hope so. And something that stays in the heart. Now, you know, are you able, when they do the international dubs for this, do they bring in a different voice cast? Or since because you're multilingual, they allow you to dub your own, your own version of the character? Oh my goodness, that's a thought. I really don't know. I mean, I have not been approached, so we'll have to see. I imagine they'll be using different voices. When I watch Netflix, I see all the voices who, who translate it are completely different, you know? And my Chinese isn't that good because I was brought up in England. And I had to learn French and two then dead languages, Greek and Latin. So my Chinese completely slipped. I'm now purely an English language actor. So, you know, I- dead language, darling. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no, ancient Greek. I learned ancient Greek and Latin. So Greek is not in that language. I, I figured you meant ancient Greek when you said Latin and you didn't mean yeah, modern. Okay, good, so, good, good. Thanks, me. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do have to clear it up. Yeah. <laughs> She's my everything. You know. It's everything to me. It's getting nervous. I can feel it. <laughs> well, how excited were you when he got the role? Because you're the one that figured it out. Yes, very excited, very excited. I mean, it, it's it's a very exciting series. Uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender is very important for us to tell people that it ain't the James Cameron Avatar. <laughs> I've started to say Airbender. I've just stopped saying Avatar. Um, people get confused. Um, that that don't know the series, but gosh, people who know it. Oh yeah. God, do they get excited? Yeah. And we're really excited because we knew it. Um, yeah. As he told you, we knew it. <laughs> it's one of the most universal shows that I've ever... seen. Now, you how do you the entire series? I can't believe you watch series. That's like a lot of episodes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I do have to ask this. How was your children's reaction? And if you have grandchildren, what's their reaction? Oh, my God. We don't have kids. Oh. We don't have kids. We'd be elected not to have kids. No parents, no pets, no kids. But we have a whole community on Twitch who we love and love us. We started doing Twitch like three years ago. And now we're partners on Twitch and we stream with our ukuleles, telling stories about our careers and our love. And our, our our friends on Twitch are so behind us and they're, they're so excited. And this is our new <laughs> chosen family, you know. It's an incredible thing at my age to come across this streaming thing and to make some real friends, virtual friends, whom, many of whom we have met in real life already and who've become real friends. And it's an incredible part of our journey now. Yeah, so yeah. During, during COVID, we did that. that's how we started uh, live streaming. Yeah. And then uh, now we've got a community that we've not met. Like he says, you know, we, we didn't meet. We were good friends for years and we've just, just meeting them. So coming to the US, that's been also really nice. Meeting the Twitch partners here and other yeah. other community members. And they're so excited for us. Yeah. Uh, it's really a genuine <laughs> thrill. I'm know. excited for you. The red carpet on Twitch. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here's the, so here's the thing. In, in our pre-interview, you promised me a song. Do we get a song? Can we? Yes, okay. Yes. Thank is you it so original? Is it an original? Thank you, RC. Thank you for asking. It's so kind of you. Thank is this you. an original song that you wrote together? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. What's it called? Time. Uh, do you want to do time or do you want to do together? I think it's better. Okay, it's, let's do it together. Um, okay. Should we stand up and do it? We'll stand up. Sure. Three, four. I love that I talk like us in my head. I love that I spoke all the things that we said. Let's talk. We still stand. We love to love to love to love to lie in bed together. Ooh. Together. Ooh. Yeah. I know that I love all the things that we share. 
That's fantastic. You guys, you guys definitely Thank enjoy each other's company, and I love it. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. Listen, I love that you enjoy each other's company. Thank you. Yeah, we do. We do still. Yeah. It's an amazing thing. We've been, we've had our ups and downs in our relationship, but that's what life is. Life is change, isn't it? So, we've we've learned a lot together. Yeah. You, know, I I do have to ask. My parents immigrated to the United States, so I have to ask. What was your catalyst as your final? Let's make it and go overseas. We have to cross the entire Pacific Ocean to get mm -hmm. into the Western world. Are you going to say that? Yeah, uh, I thought. I, uh, ahead, yeah, because you, you did an intake of breath, which I heard. Yeah, I know exactly. What, because I was going to say that we've not moved here. We're not moving here. Yeah. I think, yeah, what we'd like to do is be able to live in Singapore. Uh, I'm trying to find management here in, in LA that will understand that uh, I do want to be in Singapore. And that if they need me to move over, we, then we have to talk. Yeah, it's hard for us grit. to think of. It's hard for us to yeah. think of moving to LA at this point in our lives. Yeah, uh, yeah, because we still have our home there, and yeah. we we'll have to do a lot of things to move. But no, we're still thinking. But thanks. We're for exploring that, that big yeah. move. Yeah, it's still very early days. For us. <laughs> we feel. I mean, I know uh, we're not old, but in the business, we ain't young anymore. Yeah. yeah, But the US is the aim, and the market is there for us. But yeah. we just need to know what we need to do. <laughs> we don't know enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still <laughs> quite green. So much. Yeah. For asking that, I really would like to connect with you to find out more about um, your your story as well, because you know, I, I I'm really interested to hear like yeah. what it was like and what it is like now as well. If you, you know, know what I mean. Well, yeah, yes. because you know, I'm I'm first generation American, so it's a little different because you have one foot in the old world with the customs that they raised you with, but you're raised in America and you're not fully American, but you're not fully you know, Southwest Asian. So it's like, where do you belong? Because when you go visit, they look at you as an yeah. American. And then when you're in America, they look at you kind of as a foreigner. You're not, so it has yeah. this very strange divide. Strange, huh? You're yeah. in both worlds, yeah. yeah. How did your parents find it? Yeah. Um, was the, adap was the adap adapting difficult? Uh, yes and no, because the fact that, you know, there's no revolution, there's no civil war, there's, you know, nothing going on that, you could yeah. sleep at night without worrying about, you know, the phone wire being cut or... Oh, yeah. where, where, where did they come from? So my father came from Iran and my mom came from Lebanon. Wow. wow. So, That's the war-torn areas. Yeah. yeah. So two war-torn areas that were, you know, first world countries that got turned into third world countries, unfortunately. And yeah. uh, just, you know, how everything... So, you know, the... I mean, they were already westernized in a sense because, you know, when they were first world countries, they still had the old world and the new kind of blending in between the cultures over there. But to yes. come to America, yes, you know, there was aspects that were difficult, but 
you know, there was still the, we don't have to worry about bombings. We don't have to worry about religious persecution because we're Middle Eastern Christians. We didn't have wow. to worry about any of that over here in the United States. And you could yeah. sleep at night. Yeah, so, what a journey, right? No yeah. wonder you talk about that journey. It's, it's yeah. wow, it's epic, isn't it? Oh it, my goodness. Yeah. And, and it's strange because everything's relative, isn't it? Because yeah. for us, one of the things that is frightening about America for us is guns. Yeah, it freaks us it out. It really freaks us out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, no guns in Singapore yeah. except, yeah. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. And that debate is very interesting because it depends who you ask. So right. very true. Exactly. Yeah. We found that to be so. so. We, we don't. We try not. I just keep quiet yeah, on it now. Have, right. And it, is, and it's yeah. a debate that shouldn't be politicized, but somehow it has been, and that's the unfortunate part. And I, I think yeah, that, yeah I that's sure the thing. Agree. But you can't even have gum in Singapore, apparently. No, no, you can't. Not have even gum. gum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't have gum. I always correct people. I have a law degree. Okay. <laughs> I know it. Uh, it was from 1986, and I don't know that much. <laughs> but but I mean, uh, we you can have gum. You just okay. It sounds even more ridiculous when I explain it to you. You can't buy or sell it. You can chew it. That's the law. That's okay, it. Singapore. So someone has it's to bring it to you as a gift. <laughs> you can buy or sell it. But you can show it if you find it. <laughs> so you can give it as a gift. So Actually, people who yeah. never liked gum before in the past now will smuggle gum in. Why? Yeah. And then even smuggling it, you can bring it in. Right. You yeah. can bring it in. <laughs> We've got an auntie who loves like <laughs> smuggling it in. <laughs> she never suddenly like liked gum. Yeah. Listen, in yeah, the Soviet Union, you couldn't wear thing. denim, so you know. <laughs> Oh, there, okay. there are very interesting rules across this planet, and I think humor helps us, you know, adjust to all of the insanity. Absolutely, that's really well said. Humor is the only thing that we will help us get through it. In many you, ways. Well, I want to ask this: What would you tell a young actor seeing you now trying to establish yourself? Yes, you want to stay in Singapore, but you're creating a career in the West on top of it, and yes. going, you know they can do it why shouldn't i try it like what would you tell a young actor that's either willing to go overseas to work or even try to make it in in their own country yeah you know i would say keep working at your craft you know the, the better you get the more chance you have because the opportunities may come and it depends on what you've done in your experience to be able to to, to lock into that the more experience you have in life i think that if you absorb it well you keep trying to keep being aware and work on your craft all the time. You know, I think that's what we did. We fell in love with acting. And so working on it, working on the craft itself. I used to read newspapers to myself in different voices all the time just to practice, just to keep playing with it. You know, you got to have fun with it and you got to work hard on it. It sounds like it's, it's different things, but it's exactly the same thing. And don't lose faith. That's the hardest one. And you have your have own lawyer in-house that's going to negotiate all your contracts for you. My everything does everything. The, We're only here because she arranged everything. The lawyer who doesn't know the law. <laughs> the lawyer who's given up. <laughs> so long as you're enjoying it, and that's the important thing. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. For the people that are skeptical about the new avatar, what right. would you like them to? What would you like to tell them to ease their nerves and go? All right, let's give it a chance. You know, I think lock into the story, lock into the characters, because the characters are so followable in, in the live action. I would say more so than in, than in the animation. The story is told really well in the animation, but the character interaction is the special thing that I hope they can take away with them, since they know the story very well already. I think that's the special thing about it. I love it. Where can we find your Twitch stream, and where can we find you on social media if we want to connect with the two of you? Okay, we're on Twitch dot tv slash the neil kalei limbs okay i'm neil sri lim i'm lim casey and with our ukuleles we're the neil kalei limbs I love and it. uh yeah you can find us on twitch there we stream we're partners on twitch <laughs> and we love telling stories and singing songs so most of the yeah. songs are most of the songs that we sing are original the yeah. rest of the songs are from the last century yeah, there are one or two songs that we sing from this millennium, yeah. <laughs> and you'll be lucky to find them. <laughs> and you know, 
exact. I love it that we can. She seems I'm, I'm overacting. It's just because your hands yeah. go right into the. <laughs> you know, as as actors. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, good. Sorry. Yeah, as actors, we control the content of of what we do on stream, and that's very special for us because as actors, we normally do satisfy the writer, then the director, and then put in our our work. So. This is very special for us. We have a lot of fun on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> come to Twitch. Um, there's, a, there's something exciting going on, though, on the 29th of February, which is, of course, the leap year. It happens once every four years, and somebody gets a birthday only once every four years. He's finally going to be 17 years old again. <laughs> your, wait, uh, your birthday is February 29th? It is. Ah. I'm born in the leap year. That's incredible. <laughs> it's really weird. Isn't yeah. it so special? Yeah. It is. It's very special. So when he was 17 years old um, and in boarding school, he was inspired by his English teacher reading Ode to a Grecian Urn. By John Keats, yeah. And uh, it's about the transience of life and he wrote this song called Time. He finished his song only in his 50s because I like this song so much that I told him, you've got to finish this one. Um, and now we sing it on Twitch a lot. Uh, and now on his 29th birthday, we're going to release it on Spotify and all music platforms. Uh, yeah, so it's very exciting for yeah. both of us. It's the first time that his music's gonna be yeah it's like she of, did it all she got the recording done and anywhere everything. but on on youtube yeah yeah i'm so, so unambitious that right, I'm right. Right. <laughs> Stop strangling me Where, when are the two <laughs> of you gonna, gonna be... start like a relationship podcast because that's what you two really need to do like you need to <laughs> yes. give an oration a relationship advice podcast Yes, come to Twitch <laughs> where we give very good advice. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. Thank you Thank so you. much, Lars. We love Thank you. Thank you so much. I love chatting with you. And you guys are in LA right now, or are you guys? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. It's so exciting to be here. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Well, I'm glad that you're here in the states. I'm glad that you're enjoying yourselves here. Uh, one day, maybe one day I'll come out and visit in Singapore. Let us know. Where are you? Where are you? I'm in Huntington. Are you in Beach, LA? So I'm, about, I'm in Huntington Beach. I'm about 45 minutes south of LA without traffic. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay. okay. How do we yeah. connect? We, uh, do we have each other on Instagram? Uh, I'll, well, what is your Instagram? Oh, so email. We're at Neil Sweelin. But I will, I have your email, right? I'm pretty sure I'll get it through Angela anyway. Yes, please do get it through Let's Angela. connect. We'd love to keep yes. in touch. Yeah, let's connect. keep in yeah. touch. Absolutely. Yeah. This has probably been my most fun interview so far of 2024, and I'm thrilled to oh, have chatted with you. Oh, Bless thanks you, for man. saying that. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've enjoyed it so much, too. Thank you. Thank you for opening your heart to us. Thank Absolutely. You. Congratulations yeah. on Avatar The Last Airbender coming soon to netflix the live action version it's going to be quite enjoyable and if the energy that you bring to that is that you did to this conversation i don't know how people aren't going to watch the entire season in one sitting it's going to be fantastic thank you so much i see